Hello everyone and welcome to a video on alert boxes. So those of you who take my CIG 111 class, uh, we talked about this during class. Uh, for those who do not take my CIT 111 class, uh, at least you'll have, I'm sorry, CIT 130 class, my bad. At least you'll have an idea on how to create alert box using JavaFX. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna come up with we're going to create a simple uh, alert box. We'll have a screen uh, that has a button and we'll have um, you click on a button and alert comes up. That's the first part of it. And then the second part of it is we'll, we'll add confirmation information. So we'll keep, we'll make it simple. So we'll go right click on your source. We'll create a new package. You could have this all under one package. The only reason I break it down is so that if I'm referring to code, I know what my, uh, I know what my um, packages are. All right, so we'll call it alert box. First thing I'll do is I'll create a right click on new, and create a class. I'm gonna call it main, uppercase, and I'm gonna hit public static void and hit finish. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my library. So I already have these libraries located somewhere else. They are in my template as well. So if I come down to my template and come in here, some of these guys will pretty much be the same. And those that we don't use, we'll get rid of. So I'll copy these guys, these libraries here. I will paste them into here. All right, so we have the scene, we'll have button. We won't have label. We will have stack paint on this one. We won't have V box on this one but we will have stage. All right, there we go. All right, so now we have our public class main. First thing that we need to do is we need to extend it. Application, which once again uses this uh, library up here. We have a little message here, but not a problem because uh, we haven't completed everything. The other thing that we need to do is set up our, um, our shell, which is our starting position. It's public void start. Start is uh, a method off of application. And I'll show you how I'm getting that in a second here. So we need to have a stage and we need to have some type of name. So I'll call it main event. And then I'll do my left print and right bracket. Great. The other thing that I need to do is type in launch args for arguments. So if I click on, all right, if I click on start there, or, geez, hold on. So I can't put anything here. So if I put starter, it's not gonna work because main is initializing application. If you click on main, you see here where it says abstract method application dot start. It's looking for that and it's supposed to be here. So this is the abstract. All right, so that's why we have that there. The next step I'm gonna do is we're gonna create the name of the stage. You could call it anything. I'm gonna call it my window. And uh, we're gonna have the button. So we'll describe and say, hey, button, which is using this guy right here, this um, method. And I'm gonna call it, keep it simple, my button. All right. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down into the start area and actually start doing our programming. So if you're following along at home, I would recommend if it's fine, pause it and just catch up to what I'm doing. So that way you don't have to watch it and try to keep up with me because sometimes I go a little too fast. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our window. We're gonna say my window equals the name of the stage. So we called it main event. So I'm gonna say main event. All right, and then I'm gonna set the title of the window. So we need a title set title I am gonna call it I'm gonna use a little string I'm gonna call it my alert box keeping everything with the alert going here all right so now we need to create a button so we're gonna say button equals well we have you see how we're saying button equals I'll do it new button and we need it to say something the button we'll just say uh, uh, submit as you notice here it's not liking that. It says it cannot be resolved because it can't find a variable. 
So you have to make sure that you name it what you describe your variable to. So we're gonna have to put in my, but my button. And that resolves that. All right, so now we set the title, we set create a button. Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna create an action event. But it's gonna error out because we don't have, because uh, we're gonna call a method in this action event. And the method hasn't been created yet. So that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll name the name of our button, it's called my button dot set on action, which is set on action is a method. And we're gonna do E for event handler, space, hyphen, the arrow, arrow operator. We're gonna call alert box dot, um, let's see here, alert box dot one second. How to think about, so we'll call it display, okay? And then in parentheses here, we'll do my alert box Oops. Then another, and then we'll do a comma, and we'll say this alert box is new to me. And we'll have it in, and then we'll hit return. Now you notice here where it has alert box is underscore, and it's underlined with red and says it's unresolved. And the reason being for that is because we haven't set up the method for it, so no big deal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, we could probably see if we go back to my template here and see if we could grab anything. Oh, we don't have anything over there. All right, so we're, now we're gonna set the uh, layout. We're gonna call it stack pane layout one, I'll call it, equals new stack pane. Okay, then we need the name of the layout, which is layout one dot, remember get children, and then we need to add our, anything that we add at components. In this case, we're just at the button one, and then I'll end that. And then we're gonna create the scene here. We're gonna call it scene equals new scene, name it the layout one, and we're gonna do comma 300 by 300 and end it. Now we need to set the window. So it's called my window dot set scene. And what's the name of the scene? Well, we call it scene. So whatever we call this guy right here is what it's called. And then we're gonna hit return. Now I see some messages up there, which I know what it is. Uh, button one is called my button. So I'm not sure what I was thinking. And new stack pane has to be separated. So apologize. Last but not least, we'll do my window dot show. All right, so that, this ends the first part of it. It won't run because it is expecting, if I actually, if I comment this guy out real quick and save it, it might come up here, which it does. See, it does create the button, but we hit submit, no actions happening because we have it commented out. So let's leave a comment out for now. That is how you create that first part. So, we have the main alert box. So now what we need to do is we need to create, if you click on it here, we created a um, something called alert box. So that's gonna be the name of our class. So we're gonna right click on alert box. Actually, uh, let me end this video and then I'll add another video on how to add the rest of this. Thank you for listening.